Hello, I'm Adam Barrelay and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the crystal known as Caribbean Blue Calcite. Now, Caribbean Blue Calcite is actually two crystals growing together in a stone. It is a combination of this blue calcite, which is a beautiful, stunning, soft colour, which is very different to your normal kind of blue calcites that you'll find. Almost looks almost like Larimer and those kind of beautiful crystals. And then this brown and white lines that you'll get in the crystal is actually aragonite. So these two growing together have made this really powerful and really quite magical crystal that was only discovered in 2019. Now, based on the name, you may assume that it's found somewhere in the Caribbean, but in fact, no, it comes from Pakistan, from one location. Now, because of its beautiful color and its rare locality, you, we're, what we're gonna probably find is it'll be available for the next few years or so, and it'll circulate, and then it'll die down. So maybe you've got a piece, maybe you're looking at getting a piece. We're gonna explore how you can work with this amazing stone to bring different magic into your life. There's this amazing kind of carefree nature about Caribbean blue calcite and whatever kind of dense emotions are kind of weighing heavy on you or whatever's bothering at this point in time, it's not so much a crystal that helps you to forgive but almost just as though it's, I think of that song by Julie Garland, Forget About Your Worries and they all kind of just disappear off you and kind of lift off you. This crystal is a really, like we know calcite's are really good for helping to cleanse away energy and aragonite really stabilizes. And so this is kind of puts a brand new perspective in things that were weighing you down in the past, maybe they're not that important anyway. And to just kind of become a bit more carefree. So forgiveness wouldn't quite capture this because forgiveness is going, okay, I know what the issue is and I'm allowing that to pass. I find with the Caribbean blue calcite, it's much more kind of just, it doesn't matter. It never has mattered. Why was I worrying about that? It kind of lifts you up to the next perception of, that was that was trivial. It doesn't matter in that kind of way. You know, often, I know I'm guilty of this, we get into these cases where we're really annoyed at someone else, someone who's in our life at this point in time, maybe someone you live with, and it really bugs you, and it's like the centre of the universe, and you're telling other people about it and all that kind of thing. In the big picture, that doesn't matter. In Caribbean blue calcite, it's almost as though it, if something's weighing heavy on your heart or on your chest or on your throat, you can't express it, especially being a throat chakra one, it almost just lifts it up like, kind of a sh an upside down shower of light having, heading back up to the heavens. So what I'd recommend, if something is weighing on you, take some time just to hold this crystal, hold it against your chest, take some deep breaths and go, does this really matter? Does this really matter? Let it go. And, and you'll find after a while, it, you, you kind of get this tingly effervescent kind of energy where you just feel, okay, it's all going to be fine. I, I don't know why I was bothered about that in the last you know, what, what's more important? How can we get back to love, light, laughter, and just having a bit more fun in our lives? That's what I find Caribbean Blue Calcite is really amazing for. Now, simply by looking at this stone, you can tell that it's going to have a very calming nature. And I find this will be a really great one when you're faced with a challenge or a problem. Both calcite and aragonite, but especially aragonite, are associated with allowing you to look at a problem or a challenge from multiple different ways, kind of multitasking or looking at different perceptives to find an answer. And so when you are stuck with something and you can't seem to find a solution, this is going to be the great crystal to just hold on to or have near you to help you try different options or ideas and play around with them until you find the one to overcome that situation. Caribbean blue calcite helps you to rearrange the universe until you find something that works. Now being so calming, this is going to be a beautiful one to meditate with. After a busy day to help quieten the mind, or if you have a mind that tends to kind of tick a lot, especially when you try and meditate, it won't quieten down, try holding this in both your hands. Another time we need calmness is obviously when we want sleep. Try placing a piece of this on your bedside table, if it's small enough, in your pillow slip. And what I found is it does cause you to dream a little bit more as well. Your dreams become vivid, could be prophetic, even, you know, a bit of lucid dreaming where you have control and can kind of really dive into that dream scape. This can be a really nice time to play around with the Caribbean blue calcite in this way. The final thing that I find with this calming nature is it does have that oceanic energy. And maybe it's from the color, maybe it's from the name, maybe it's all those vibrations dancing together. If you have any fears associated with water, Maybe you don't like swimming, maybe you don't like going to the beach, maybe you're scared to get on a boat or a yacht or something like that, then I would take a bit of Caribbean blue calcite with you to really just help you feel calm, confident, 
and one with the element of water. One trait I love to use all calcites for are clearing extra energy around a chakra. And of course, being blue, Caribbean blue calcite is going to work with the throat chakra. So when the throat chakra is overactive, we tend to talk a lot. We talk loudly. We'll dominate conversations. Sometimes you'll, you know, control a whole room and not let other people speak. If that's the case, then this can be a really great crystal for you. And if you'd like to know more about the throat chakra, check out some of my other videos about how to test them with a pendulum to find out if it's overactive, underactive, or balanced, and other crystals and oils you can use for the throat chakra as well. But this one's going to be really great. This one's a really great crystal to help you bite your tongue and stop and listen to people speak. Do you find in a discussion, in an argument or whatever, you're too busy trying to get your point across and people are saying you never listen to what I say? If that's the case, try holding this in your hands and try just pausing for a second and allow someone to speak and say what they need to say. There is a beautiful saying that I heard just a little while ago that I really love is that the wisest man is the one who speaks last because he stops and he listens and he knows everyone else's perspective and then he can speak knowing how to um, touch the hearts of the others around him. Blue calcites, including Caribbean blue calcite, is going to be a really nice one also for helping you to consider the impact of your words and the impact of your actions. You know, there's a beautiful Greek saying that says, um, a society is great when old men plant trees whose shade they will never enjoy. And this is a great crystal for really helping you to consider your impact not just today, but also your impact on future generations in what you say, in what you do, in the actions you take on next generations of people, but also our, you know, the earth as a whole, the animal kin, the plant kin, the mineral kingdoms, how they'll be affected by your decisions today as well. Finally, this is going to be a really nice crystal to help you listen to yourself. We live in a chaotic world and sometimes we can get caught up in that chaos and get swept away and, and lose sense of who we are and where we're going and what we want to kind of do in this world. What I would recommend when you're feeling kind of swept up in that chaos, grab one of these, hold it to your chest and just remind yourself, I'm here right now and feel yourself kind of grounded and calm and centered. Be reminded of what makes you feel nurtured, what makes you feel grounded, what makes you just, you know, is a bit of kind of recreation, whether it be reading a book or watching a movie or something that just really puts you back at ease. Like for me, it's walking out in nature and it just centers me and puts everything back in perspective. Take your Caribbean blue calcite in those times of chaos and it will help to shift you back into those states of calmness. So whenever you need to stop and listen to other people or listen to yourself, this is an amazing crystal. If you've been using this crystal a lot or it's brand new and you want to cleanse it and bring it back to its full natural balance energy, then you're going to want to cleanse it. Now, the best way to cleanse Caribbean blue calcite, I find, is with water. Now, you do have to be careful with this crystal that even when it's polished, sometimes it will have little crevices and sometimes you'll get some little druzy and little indents in there. If it's completely sealed, it's going to be fine to immerse in water. But if you're not too sure, feeling a bit uncertain, just leave it near moving water. Now, a stream like this, just by the bank, would be perfect. Or when it's raining, just put it outside under the veranda. Or, you know, near the ocean, having that Caribbean kind of energy, that beachy kind of energy, would be really great. Just take it to the beach with you, near that flowing energy. And that will help to bring it back to its natural balance. Now, when I'm working with crystals, I'll bring other gifts from the other kingdoms to help me kind of really harmonize and empower my crystals. So when I'm working with the um, Caribbean blue calcite, what I find is from the plant kingdom, there's a plant and an essential oil especially called Monada. This is also known as bee balm. It has this really light energy and it has this real kind of carefree, it doesn't matter what happens kind of energy as I was talking about before. So diffusing or smelling that oil while using the stone can be really powerful. I also like to tap into the wisdom of the animal kingdom. And manatees and dugongs are what come to me when I'm working with this crystal. You know, they are known as the cows of the sea. They're very gentle, big, and just kind of almost angelic in the way that they kind of gracefully um, s float through the water in that type of way. And they can really bring some guidance on how to calmly navigate, especially when you're feeling overly emotional. The water realm is the realm of the, of the emotions. And so being able to navigate that calmly and quietly can be really quite powerful. And dugongs and manatees can help you to do that. 
So close your eyes, hold your crystal, smell your monada essential oil, and imagine yourself sitting in the water and a manatee or a dugong comes up and has a chat to you. What would they say? Now, astrologically, having that water connection is very much associated with the planet Neptune. Now, Neptune is associated with the day Friday. So doing any work with this crystal on a Friday is going to be enhanced astrologically as well. Now, I'd love to know how you've worked with this stone. What experience have you had with it? It's a really amazing one. And if you haven't got a piece yet, you can find it online pretty much everywhere around the world. If you have had some experience with it, please leave a comment in the section below and we can all learn from each other's experiences. As with any new crystal, we're all still learning about it, so I'd love to hear what you've noticed. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.